a lot of commotion going on today at the ball field or the pond. Today's baseball tournament day. Yeah. I never saw the pond so busy. Yep, very busy today. Very, very busy. Anyway, going back to the Cardinal. At least we saw him today. I also saw a little bunny today. Cute little bunny. Let's go Cardinal exploring. See if there's any others. Oh, I see a squirrel over there. He probably don't, but he's over there in the tree. His tail is flickering. Mm, he's, a little tail. he's a flickering away. Two little ducks are in the field over there. Now, like I said, if there's coyotes back there, wouldn't they be sitting duck? I don't know. Like I said, there's rumors. I did hear a growl. I think I'm just unlucky. Mm -hmm. But I never see anything. I just never see anything. They're obviously not afraid. Plus, I saw a little bunny rabbit. We think they'll be eating. I don't know. I think it's just a rumor. But I don't explain the un unforeseen growl. Unless it just doesn't eat. And what the hell did they eat anyway? Better not be me. Anyway, doesn't mean I didn't, didn't hear nothing. Mm. Let's look at the mist over the barn, shall we? I don't know. I know what I heard. And it was in this misty woods. Creepy, creepy woods. What is that? Oh, Gertrude. That's Gertrude the duck over there. Hi, Gertrude. How are you doing? Gertrude, what are you doing? You clean your feathers. I call her Gertrude. I call them quackers. Quackers and I don't know what I call the other one. I call her Gertrude. I don't know why I call her Gertrude. <laughs> she looks like a Gertrude to me. <laughs> she does. There's another duck that looks like her. I just call her Gertrude. <laughs> Quackers and Gertrude. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Going on. It's cold. Very, very cold today. I hate this weather. Well, uh, I can't wait till summer. I don't want to be complaining about it's summer. I don't think so, though. But you never know. Lately, I am cold, freezing, freezing out here. Damn, cold. I want to go to Hawaii. I need to go to Hawaii. You know, anybody else want to go to Hawaii? Holler if you do, and then you pay for it. Ah, I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. I got no money, <laughs> so I can't pay for it. My dime. <laughs> cardinal. I hear a cardinal. I bet it's my car over there. Mm -hmm. He's over there. Hands are frozen. Let's go see if we can find a woodpecker. Oh, I did see a, a big woodpecker, by the way. A tall one. Oh, yeah. But I never got that on film, though. <laughs> by the way, there are these little tiny birds that go over the pond in the afternoon. And they sweep over the water. 
and they've got a neat, they, I don't know what they're doing. They do at least aerial things. I'm going to try to get them on film so I could ID what the heck they are. They're like a little bigger than a sparrow. And they have like a little bit of red, they look like they have a little bit of red in the front. And they're like brownish black. I don't know, real tiny little birds. I'm trying to figure out what kind of bird they are. Never seen it. Kind of like neat looking. They're like eating bugs off the water. I don't know, that's what it looks like to me. And they're doing these little aerial sh shows. Neat. I do find birds very fascinating. There's so many of them. You notice that? There's so many of them? Yeah. So many f birds out there. Still, my cardinal's my favorite, besides the cockatiel. But don't underestimate, underestimate, uh, in proper English. Anyway, don't underestimate the intelligence of a bird. I don't. Because, like I said, I got to know two cockatiels. Actually, several, actually. And they were wild birds at one time, even though mine were domesticated. They came from the Arizona, oh, not Arizona, Australia. They were wild. If you get a cardinal put in your house, of course that doesn't mean it's going to be tame, but if you take a cardinal put it in your house, I saw that done on video. I don't think that would, doesn't look right, doesn't it? It doesn't look right. But if you take a cardinal, put it in your house, and put it in a cage, again, it doesn't look right. It doesn't look like it belongs there. But we put a cockatiel, and probably in Australia, it probably doesn't look right to them having a cockatiel in your house, but we, you get the point. Um, you don't see, it's just unrare to us having a cardinal in your house. Oh, there, oh, there we go, robin. Yeah, there's a robin's nest over here. Let's go look at it. If, if my camera will pick it up, it's very dark in here. He's very protective of his little house here. There's a cardinal's, or not a cardinal, robin's nest here. He's very decadent, very decadent. It's not very seen. Not enough light. Dang. Not enough light. He's very decadent. There he's over there. Oh, that's pretty. Pretty, pretty. Oh, where'd he go? There he goes, there he goes, there he goes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, going on. Where was I? You didn't see the nest. If I had a flashlight, I could show it to you. It's very decadent. Just take my word for it. Burr. This is where you see the woodpeckers, on these huge, huge, huge trees. They love coming over here. Here, a car on there, bye. Mm -hmm. Let's keep walking. <laughs> 